Good afternoon, people. Watch him at 65. Lisa Boyce, I'm going to give you a verse of scripture. It is actually out of 2 Corinthians 5.17. And it says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things have passed away, and behold, all things become new. Let me give you the gospel before I get into my rant. <laughs> gospel is in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried and rose again on the third day according to scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, at least any man should boast. It is grace that we don't deserve, grace through faith in Christ alone. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ and his blood, the moment you accept Christ as Savior, not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus. You are protected by the blood of Jesus. You are rapture ready, which is literally. <laughs> After today, it's literally any time now. And you're sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you, lead you, guide you, minister to you, encourage you, speak to you, teach you, change you if you let him. So Netanyahu speaks out. On October 7th, IDF advances and Rafa UN backs Palestinian bid for membership, despite the U.S. voting no. What does this mean for... The church. Well, means look up. It means the rapture is literally any minute. Because now, let me, well, let me read this. United Nations General Assembly voted 143 to 9 to upgrade the Palestinian status as a non member observer state, granting it all but voting rights concerning all activities related to its uh, plenum. Now, basically what they're saying is that they are giving a two-state solution without saying they are giving a two-state solution. If you know what I'm trying to say there, they've given them all rights. They're not going to put it, let me see, how can I say this? They're not going to put it on paper. But they've given them all rights. It is a Palestinian state. I don't care how they slice it. I don't care how it comes up. It was bound to happen. And this is where we are right now. So it says Argentina, the Czech Republic, Hungary, Israel, Micro, uh, I think it's uh, Nisia, Nuro, Papua New Guinea, and the United States opposed the resolution. Among those countries that supported the, uh, the text were many European uh, Union members. Belgium, Denmark, Estonia, France, Greece, Ireland, Luxembourg, Portugal, Poland, Slovakia, Slovenia, and Spain. Australia supported the resolution while Canada, Great Britain, and Ukraine abstained. There are already uh, some 142 countries that already recognize Palestine as a state and have full diplomatic relations with it. The United Nations General Assembly vote, which is mostly symbolic, is viewed as an international referendum supporting unilateral Palestinian statehood. Many Western and European countries have believed that full Palestinian statehood recognition and its United Nations membership should come at the end of the final status agreement that tends to the Israeli-Palestine conflict in the light of Hamas's invasion of southern Israel that sparked the Gaza war several Western countries have reconsidered their position 
Israel immediately uh, attacked the decision as a prize for terrorism, given that it comes in the aftermath of Hamas's October 7th attack, which marked the Gaza War. It also warned that such a step would harm negotiation for the release of the remaining people. The message that the UN is sending to our suffering region is saying that violence pays off, the foreign ministry said. The decision to upgrade the status of Palestinians in the United Nations is a prize for Hamas terrorists. After they committed the largest war on Jews. Now, like I said, what does this mean for the church? Like I said, look up. Because now everything is going to go at warp speed. And I do mean everything. God is ticked right now. Even though this is prophecy. Even though it says it. Even though it says what's going on. Now that goes to show you the United States vetoed this vote. They said no. They didn't approve it. They went ahead and put this thing through anyway. So that should show you right there what kind of power the U.S. has now. The U.S. is nothing now. The U.S. is absolutely nothing now. So what this is going to do, and I don't care what they say, in word, in deed, I don't care what it is. It's a two-state solution, basically. Because now, now that the Palestinians has basically status, they can do whatever they want now. And they will. And I guarantee you, Israel and uh, Iran will go full speed, speed ahead. Weapons, they're going to start flowing in now, left and right. It's funny that this thing passed. And it's funny at the same time, the U.S. passed this thing to send all this money over and all this ammo over to Ukraine. So there you go, right there. The U.S. is basically uh, dead, <laughs> if you want to call it that. Let me see, where is it? Right here. So, the Palestinian Authority, now this came off, and I'm cutting off of that article for a minute to give you this. The Palestinian Authority Mahmoud Abbas says the United Nations General Assembly's backing a Palestinian bid come be, to become full UN member supports Palestinian efforts for another vote on the issue by UN Security Council. Hmm. It just goes on and on, on and on. So, again, Australia supported the resolution. And I read earlier where um, Ireland also did. Matter of fact, I think they're going to do something on the 21st. So this decision also provides a tailwind to Hamas amid negotiations for the release of 134 people. Further complicating the prospects for a deal, which it does. Israel seeks peace, and it says peace will only be achieved through direct negotiation between the parties. That's where it stands right now. Prophecy has been fulfilled. 
But there's one more thing that has to happen for the church, and that's the rapture. This just pushed it full speed ahead. Right here. Because like I said, even though I don't care what they say, giving Palestine, voting the UN, simply voting to give Palestine rights, to upgrade, upgrade their rights. You just gave them status to do whatever they want to do. And you just split the land. Basically, that's it. You just split the land. Now, this geomagnetic storm. Let's talk about this again. Is part of this raft right here. Is it raft? Not really. It's just a sprinkling of it. Because this nation hasn't seen raft yet. This geomagnetic storm is not it, but it's the start of it. It's the start of it. The wrath is coming, and it's coming very swiftly. So I'm going to link this in the description box. I'm getting trinkles of uh, information in. Um, this came in off of Forbes just now, and it says... United Nations General Assembly approved the draft resolution Friday to give Palestine additional rights and privileges while also calling on the Global Organization Security Council to reconsider its bid for membership. It'll, it'll go through. It's, it's going to go through. Especially now because they have the rights. So... We just wait on the Lord. Stay in prayer. Stay in the Lord. Stay in the Word. Tell as many people as you can. And look up. Because it's going to happen. Sooner than what we think. Very soon. <laughs> I will be back later. Thank you.